Uh, President Biden visiting Puerto Rico to witness Hurricane Fiona's damage firsthand. But while there, he made this head-scratching remark about his connection to the island. Listen. We have a very, in relative terms, large Puerto Rican population in Delaware. And so I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home, politically. <laughs> Joining us live is Outkick host Tommy Lara. Tommy, you know the second that the president said this, somebody's going to cut the clip, put it online, people are going to laugh. Here's the rea reality of the situation, though. Only 0.39% of President Biden's home state of Delaware were Puerto Rican when he was elected to Senate. Boy, guys, nothing really surprises me out of this president's mouth anymore. I, I think he was trying to make maybe a nice statement, maybe trying to find some relatability, but as often does, it, it doesn't land well with an actual audience, and the gaffes just keep coming. But I'll tell you guys, with each passing day that we hear from this illustrious president, him saying that Hunter Biden is the smartest man he knows makes more and more sense to me. It's unbelievable. Uh, it, I, just when I heard this, I started laughing, and then you laugh and you cry because you realize he's the leader of the free world. Meantime, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is dismantling the migrant relief center that taxpayers were footing the bill for in the Bronx days after Congresswoman AOC, who represents that district, spoke out. She said, quote, I think we can get to a place with a better solution here. Tommy, I thought uh, sanctuary socialist AOC, who, you know, runs the Democratic Party, clearly, would welcome every one with open arms to her district. What does it say that Mayor Adams caved so quickly in the face of one tiny complaint from AOC? Well, I think it's quite obvious that Democrats love the idea of illegal immigrants. They love the idea of them being in the shadows. But then when they're actually confronted with it and they have to explain it to their constituents why their shelters and their cities and their communities are being overrun, then suddenly they want to make the problem go away. And they try to tout what they do as solving a humanitarian crisis. Well, I agree with them. There is a humanitarian crisis going on, and a lot of it's going on at our southern border where these migrants, these illegal immigrants are coming in. So maybe, maybe we are getting to the point, and I don't want to be overly optimistic, but maybe we are getting to the point where Democrats are finally going to start looking at the Biden administration, and they're going to say, we need an actual solution because we're being inundated, we are being overrun, the border cities and states are being inundated, and now the sanctuary cities are being inundated. Everything sounds good on paper and in a tweet until you have to deal with it in real life. AOC is finding that out, these Democrat mayors are finding it out, and I hope to goodness pretty soon the Biden administration is going to find that one out, too. I guess. Maybe it'll be November, but we're hoping for a, a soon uh, realization. Yeah. Mayor Adams blaming flooding because I guess things don't dry in New York City. Tommy, there's also this. Uh, Democrats in El Paso, Texas are reportedly working with the White House to quietly bus thousands of migrants north using federal money. And now they're saying it's a humanitarian mission. And there's this immigration reform analyst who says, quote, the hypocrisy on display right now by Democrats and coastal elites is a thing to behold, transporting illegal aliens into American communities is either perfectly fine or inhumane. It just depends on who sends them and where they go. Your reaction to this? Reports are also suggesting that these Democrat mayors are actually sending far more than the ones that have gotten so much press from Abbott and from DeSantis. So, again, as I said before, Democrats love illegal immigrants, just not when they have to confront the realities of welcoming in illegal immigrants. And I don't blame these Democrat mayors for wanting to stem the tide, wanting to maybe get rid of some of these people and reallocate them to other places. But the fact is, it has to start at our southern border. That is where this all needs to begin. And also, the Democrats Democrats were pretty quiet when the Biden administration was flying illegal immigrants around our country, like right here in Middle Tennessee over the summer in those secret midnight flights. I didn't hear a whole lot of complaining from them then, but I guess uh, the tune is changing now that they have to actually be confronted with it in the broad daylight. Tommy, Laren, joining us on a Tommy Tuesday. Thank you so much.